Hi, this is Steve from the Law Offices of Franco Munoz, where our mission is to help injured workers throughout California to make sure that they get all the benefits that they're entitled to. Now, many people ask me, Steve, what are the ways that you can settle your workers' compensation case? And in this video, I'm gonna quickly summarize the two options that people in California have to close their workers' compensation case. So, in California, you have two ways in which you can close your workers' compensation case. The first option is what is popular, popularly known as future medical open. Basically, it's called a stipulations with the request for an award. With that first option, you and the insurance company agree to some level of permanent disability, 10%, 20%, 30%, whatever the percent is, each percentage corresponds to a certain amount of money and you agree on a level of disability that's usually determined by the state doctor, otherwise known as the Qualified Medical Evaluator, the QME. So with the first option, if you can agree on a level of disability, that means that the case would settle with an award for future medical, which means that the insurance company is basically agreeing to continue to pay and cover your medical treatment for the body parts that you've injured in the case effectively for the rest of your life, but only, only and as long as you continue to treat with workers' compensation doctors and it'll still continue to follow the same process of having medical treatment authorized, where the doctors need to get authorization from the insurance company and back and forth. So it doesn't mean you're gonna get medical treatment automatically given to you for the rest of your life. All it means is that the insurance company will continue to administer medical treatment within the workers' compensation system. Now, some people like this first option. For others, they don't wanna to continue to be inside the workers' compensation system because many people believe that many medical treatments are usually denied. Sometimes it's hard to get the medical treatment that you need. And for many, they don't see that much value in having future medical open for life. But that is the first option that exists. Now, the second option that you have is you can attempt to close out your case completely and just close it out at once. And that's called a compromise and release a CNR and a compromise and release you get one payment and you close out the case completely in a compromise and release the value of your case generally equals two things it equals the value of the level of disability and the value of future medical so when you combine those two numbers you come to some agreement about the total value of your case. And in a compromise and release, you, uh, you arrive to some number, and if you both agree on the number, you settle the case and the case is over. With the second option, with the compromise and release, the insurance company is no longer responsible for future medical. With a compromise and release, the case is effectively closed, and if you want to receive medical treatment, going forward, you have to do it out of your own pocket. Now those are the two main ways that you can close out a worker's compensation case. The third way isn't necessarily a third way, but it's where you have to have a judge tell you what the value of your level of disability is. And we can provide another video indicating that process. But for now, it's important to realize that you have two main ways to close out a worker's comp case. The first is you keep your a case with future medical open for life to the body parts you've injured. And the second one, you close out the case and there's no more future medical for you. I'll expand in other videos on other areas of workers' compensation. But for now, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. We'll have more videos about workers' compensation and the things that you need to know.